This is Reed Ferguson. This is Blake Ferguson. One is a Buffalo Bill. One is a Miami Dolphin. They are rivals. They are brothers. They are long snappers. Do you guys think of yourselves as the Mannings of long snappers? Absolutely. We've been, we've Firm, been called yes. the first family of long snapping. I like that name. If you flip on the game film, you could probably swap the jerseys and it's gonna look very, very similar as opposed to the other 30 guys in the league who everybody else looks completely different. Like you look at these two guys and you're like, if they weren't brothers, you know, they definitely learned from each other. Iron sharpened iron in Buford, Georgia. It began when Reed was touched by the fickle finger of fate. Started in eighth grade, the guy that was the snapper got hurt. Uh, I was playing defensive end and tight end at the time. I say playing is loose. He was on the team. I was on the team, wasn't playing much. And my dad kind of approached me and just said, hey, why don't we give this a try? I was like, okay, I'm pretty good at this. We started doing like the college summer camps and getting attention. I was also not the superstar on the football team and wasn't gonna be an all pro tight end. So I knew that I had to find my niche as well. And I, I was exposed to long snapping through Reed. Blake Ferguson, Georgia, class of 2015. Both brothers were mentored by the lodestar of long snapping, Chris Rubio. He's saying things like, if you were to fart the ball, where would it go? And that's how you get your butt lined up straight to your punter. Like getting you your, getting through, your hands like through, like when you follow you through, to, if you, if you were to have poop, diarrhea, right? Like, would it, where would it go? Your it'd go, on your, it'd yeah. go on your hands or your forearms. It needs to go on your forearms. So, I mean, we're 27 and 24, and we're still clinging on to them. So it's like, yeah. whatever. Seems to have, I mean, it seems works. to have worked. For eight years, LSU had a Ferguson at long snapper. The dynasty filled the family's mantle. It couldn't have been cooler to finish my career at LSU with a national championship ring also with an SEC championship ring and a playoff ring. They get, they give Rub us three, they Rub give us in. three rings. So I got none of that. They give us a lot of hardware. My, my hand gets pretty heavy sometimes. Yeah. No, I believe it. Now, but you did get a ring though, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a ring for the Outback Bowl. I don't wear it. I don't. <laughs> Reed started wearing a Bills jersey in 2016. He went from being an undrafted free agent to the Buffalo practice squad to becoming the highest paid long snapper in the NFL. In 2020, Blake was one of two long snappers invited to the scouting combine, but then the pandemic canceled all pro days. Though his prowess was legendary, he figured a workout tape also couldn't hurt. Dad pulled out the old the old camcorder, the old, you know. Pretty the, sure we filmed like the our seventh screen. Christmas on it. Yeah, <laughs> he filmed it and, and Reed was giving me rushes and things like that for the pump protections, but we were able to send it to my agent who then distributed it out and that was, that was kind of it. All right, meanwhile, we've got our long snapper off the board, Daniel Jeremiah. Trey, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I've got background notes on him as a player from my sources at LSU. Uh, and in terms of the play notes, I'm not going to give you any because I didn't spend any time watching long snappers because I might not have much of a life, but it's not that bad. When the Dolphins entrusted Blake with the franchise's future, the brothers went from collaborators to competitors, confidants to division rivals. We've got some water bottles set up down here on the trash cans, two of them. Uh, and the object of this competition is to hit the left one first and then the right one. Suddenly, each brother began to take stock of the other's weaknesses. It kind of popped up when we would do conditioning. You know, he would just constantly be having to take his shirt off. Reed noticed Blake's sensitive nipples. Blake clocked Reed's reliance on a set routine. I wouldn't say he's superstitious, but he is a little stitious. Each morning, Reed is powerless unless he wakes up to the smell of crackling bacon. I 
hopefully mom's got some Capri Suns and orange slices when we get off the field. There we go. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker, sudden death. Beauty before age. Hey, I think I found the camera that's uh, following me around. See the instant winner's sign? It's the guy waving to the left of him. Blake and Reed Ferguson wore the first double long snapper wire in NFL Films history. Good luck. Not too good. Oh. <laughs> that hurt a little bit. Hurt my feelings. Snap is good. Kick is on the way. Oh, yeah! It is good! Yeah! <laughs> Seven-yard field goal for Tyler Bass. Hell yeah! Right before you looked at me, he goes, somebody goes, your brother's better than you. Good snap. Yeah, the kick is good. Yeah! Nice snap, baby. Oh. Hey. Nice snap, baby. I saw your brother had a lose, but I'd rather see you win. I'm 4-0 against him. That's all I'm worried about. Tough, bro. Good job. Good game, buddy. You too. So, what does the future hold for the Ferguson family? I'm cool with just snapping footballs. Yep. We chose this life and got the market cornered. 32 in the world, right? 1 16th of the NFL. You ducked! You ducked! Ha, ha, ha.